Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today we're going to be covering the Magic Wands tutorial, which is basically similar to World Edit with their brushes. So what I'm going to be doing is just demonstrating a quick um, use of it. So we have it in our right hand, but I think because it's um, actually using some of the code and stuff it's actually not displaying so if we right click on the tree with no um, item in our offhand then it'll basically just replace things in a sphere um, this sphere is basically um, programmed in it doesn't have any sizes or anything like that but it can basically destroy things in a sphere uh, location if we go to the mountain I'll kind of demonstrate that uh, you can kind of see how it's set up, so we'll just go like that. You can kind of see that's how the outline basically looks for the sphere itself. But um, yeah, it's basically, if we go underground, you can even see it better. So let's uh, just find a spot that probably doesn't have too many keys. And then we will just go like that. And that's basically the sphere that I've created. Uh, you can create your own spheres as well uh, using repeaters and a whole bunch of other script. I'll cover that in just a second. Uh, the other function that it has is if you have a block on your offhand. So if we go and uh, use this and then put it in our offhand by putting it in F. And then we can actually fill things in with the sphere as well. So you can do that which is uh, pretty interesting. So this works for every block. You can have it planks or whatever you want as long as the block is in your offhand. So uh, you can do that. Um, another thing that I built into it is going to... Oh, there's a little town over here. This will be perfect for our demonstration. All right, so if we go into our survival mode, so game mode... Hold on a second, where is that zombie? Oh, he's underground, that's fine. I'll just head over on this side and just go up on the hill, that'll be good enough. All right, so if we go into survival and then I'm going to just quickly take out that and uh, we can actually right click on certain things and we can clear out things like that. We can totally remove the entire village if we wanted to and give the villagers a hard time but yeah as you can see the item does have damage oh my goodness look at all the baby villagers I haven't seen that many baby villagers in a long time all right so yeah uh, you can basically right click on it the more you right click on it the um, more that the item will take damage and eventually break so that's basically how that works, and um, yeah, so let's go into Amp Creator and then we'll quickly take a look at the script. It's only one procedure and one item, so it's really short um, script to actually cover. But yeah, it's so satisfying watching it. Uh, there is one little thing that I should note, is um, when you're replacing a lot of the blocks, uh, the um, dark spots might appear. Uh, this is just a client rendering glitch. Um, if we were to log out and then log back in to the world, it's actually not there. So I'll just demonstrate that. It's just a client rendering glitch. I'm not sure um, if it's because it's not running on both client and server or something like that, but I'm sure it's easily fixed. I'll try fixing it later. But uh, yeah, basically that's all there is to it. So let's go into M Creator now. All right, so our procedure, um, we'll start with that in just a second. So we'll go to our item first. We have just a basic item. And then for properties, I've set it up for a special type item. And then it has our damage down here. Uh, we can basically repair it with whatever item that we want. And then for the triggers, I have it when right clicked on, right, right clicked in air, and then I've basically set the procedure, which is this one right here. So what I'm doing here is I have some different types of variables going on here. 
uh, we have distance, uh, pause x, pause y, pause z, and then pause x, uh, 2, pause y, 2, and uh, pause z, 2. So basically what that does is we're basically getting the distance of a certain uh, item. The distance is basically what is replaced in the ray distance, which is then calculated um, uh, right in this part right here. So basically the ray distance is going to determine if there is a solid, I think he is looking at a block. So... Uh, looking at a block with ray distance of the distance and then we're basically increasing the distance every time that it doesn't find a block and what it will do is it will basically try to find the the block that we're looking at at 200 up to 250 blocks away from where we're standing so that gives a good enough range where the chunks should still be loaded for the most part and um it will deal with the damage and also set our baseline uh, pause X, pause Y, and pause Z coordinates. So after basically the at pause X, pause Y, and pause Z are just basically storing it so we can easily reset to that locate that uh, distance for that particular block when we're actually setting our actual um, faces and shapes for the sphere itself. So down below, uh, we you can kind of see how that's basically going on. What we're doing is we're offsetting the pause x, pause uh, pause x, and pause y, pause z, uh, negative four, which is um, can be demonstrated with the location here. So uh, there is, I believe, if I remember correctly, like um, four blocks is the radius outside of the center so there is like eight nine nine um blocks so this would be the main shape of the actual um square itself so basically what it's doing is it's basically setting the pause x pause y pause z which we're using in the script here so basically what we're doing is we're creating our main body of our sphere and then what we're doing is what this does is it basically replaces the block with our offhand item. So this part right here basically converts the offhand item to our um, offhand item to uh, the type of block that we're basically placing. Now, uh, if it it's empty, then obviously it's going to place air, which is actually going to remove blocks rather than place them. So uh, it's still placing the air blocks, it's just that it's air, so it looks like it's actually removing. It's it's interesting system. So basically every time that this works, I've covered repeaters a little bit in the past, but I'll kind of briefly cover over what it's doing. So the first one is basically um, covering the Y coordinates. So down here you can see that Y2, or pause Y2, and then it's getting Y pi, or pause y2 plus one so that's resetting the location i think nope pardon me uh y pause two so that would be basically increasing the value of that particular um actual position for the y pause two and then it's resetting the x and y x and z locations for the default which we've assigned up here so this is the exact same uh, pause X and pause Z2 are both these ones right here that are getting reset. So it's this sh these should be the same values as these two right here. Uh, this is our repeater for basically the Z coordinate. So this is basically um, increasing the Z coordinate and then it's going to also reset X. So that's basically X is this one and all this is doing is it's replacing the item Oh, pardon me, the block, and then it's basically getting the position to location. And then we're just basically doing this a number of times to create our shapes for the, sh the uh, actual sphere. So there's a lot of parts that actually go into making the sphere itself. Um, maybe in the future I can create some different sizes and stuff as well, but um, 
that's basically all it's doing repeatedly is basically creating the faces and I've offsetted the coordinates and these parts that are outside of the repeaters to basically create the different shapes. Now the ones with the two part of the repeaters is basically creating a pane of um, like a panel on the shape itself. So uh, for example, I'm calculating this would be the the three by three um, part on the face of the wall uh, directly across from the center of it of uh, where we're clicking so that's that kind of square part I would show it but I don't have a actual photo of it so uh, that part and then there's the seven part which is uh, closer to the actual main block which is our nine by nine up here so that's basically what's going on there and we're just doing that for all six sides um, of the actual main thing and that creates kind of like a sphere type item. So that's basically all that's going on in the magic wand. So I'll make sure to provide the actual procedure and workspace and the texture for the magic wand as well in a zip on GitHub. So you guys can download that and use it into your mods yourself and I will Maybe in the future create some different shapes as well, but um, outside of that, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.